Hello everyone and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video where today I uh well well um shit where do I begin for most of you or um, uh, half of you I well, maybe a quarter of you for those who have watched this channel for a while you know that I typically like to build spaceships that are not that don't conform to you know what a lot of people think spaceships look like I like asymmetrical spaceships just as much as I like the wacky looking vessels and one of those vessels that I really 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 like is the type of vessel that's long hard and big <laughs> Wait, ew. no, uh, where am I going? It's horizontally, oh my gosh, nothing I can say sounds right. <laughs> Classic example would be the Myrmidon from EVE Online. I really like that winged uh, fin shape. There you go. That's, yeah, I should have said that to begin with. Fuck. It makes sense uh, for a spacecraft that's only going to stay in space. Why would you design it to, you know, operate in, in like an atmosphere or a heavy G world if its entire lifespan is going to be that of operating in space? Plus, I just think it like it's really cool, especially when it's like a very large mothership like vessel. Speaking of mothership, kind of like Homeworld when they had that mothership. It's the same long fin kind of tall design. There was a couple of times where I even made some sketches of some alien spacecrafts that uh, would have been in the Star Trek universe. They'd be piloted by smaller four foot, you know, elf-like uh, beings that were like thousands of years ahead of the Federation, all that good stuff. But in their prime, they ended up having a huge battle and a war between themselves and nearly wiped themselves out. So now there's only like, you know, about 10,000 or so individuals left and they're not such a you know, big worry to the Federation anymore because, you know, there's so few, but they still have, you know, like a working mothership or something of that nature. And so they left their galaxy in search for a new home, and that's when they bumped into the Federation and whatnot. But anyway, they have this huge mothership that's got like a wormhole drive and, you know, weapons that could like tear a ship apart without even seeing any laser or phasers or photon torpedoes. They don't need that shit. They just, you know, warp space in between a ship and start tearing it apart. <laughs> I could go on for forever, sorry. Anyway, I wanted to build something very similar to these type of designs in Kerbal Space Program. I was thinking of something that was maybe akin to a rocket SSTO where it would land on its backside and be able to take off vertically like a rocket. You'd have most of the fuel and engines in the center of the craft and on the very, very tips of the craft would be where a crew is stationed in life support. When in space, it could spin for artificial gravity. And in between the middle part where all the fuel is and the tips where all the crew is would be like cargo containers for rovers or whatever they needed for the trip. Once landed on a planet or a moon, they would unfold and you'd have a whole bunch of trucks and cars and whatever they needed uh, drive out and the whole thing would like turn into a base. This would require a lot of time that I simply don't have at this moment. I would say it'd be one of those extremely ambitious designs, kind of like the moon rover that I built uh, a while back, which the moon rover would make more sense to have if you wanted to traverse different areas with with everything, like a, a base on wheels. Then I thought about maybe it's like some sort of mining uh, ship where it lands and turns into like a little base for mining, but that wouldn't make any relative sense either. Not unless, of course, you're going to land that sucker on a very, very, very low G world where the gain of mining materials would outweigh the effort and energy to land and take off. It wouldn't make any sense to land on a planet to mine minerals and then, I don't know, take off in the most gruesomely long, hardest, you know, fuel sucking way possible but what's the gain there is no gain it'd be smarter if you're going to build a mining craft just to go out and harvest low g moons or asteroids but if i wanted something that would land on planets and turn into an unfolding base of some kind with uh, rovers and stuff then it'd be more for exploration and science it would land on a planet unfold into a base have rovers and stuff and trucks and whatnot it would anchor down it would drill it would refuel itself and then once the mission's complete it'd fold everything back up and 
take off like a SSTO. I'm not saying it's impossible. I could definitely figure something out if I had a month or two. Given, of course, I'd be working on it maybe about an hour a day. But as for right now, it's just uh, pretty much just an empty shell concept uh, craft file. Did I say craft or crap? So in the end, because it still was a complicated empty shell, I thought it'd be fun to test it out on something. And I figured, we're all people of culture here. So let the carnage begin. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like, and if you really, 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 really liked what you saw, consider subscribing. We also have a membership program if you're interested. If you become a member, you get cool little emojis and badges and stuff. I was about to say emojis. What the fuck is an emoji? But anyway, love you all. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.